uh, day one of uh, the transatlantic. The heat was a killer today, it really was. I was up early, under the bridges, fueled up, out. But the heat, man, whew, there's no shade in this boat. Luckily it's clouded over now and it's the uh, best part of the day is gone. Pretty crappy sea conditions, roly roly. So a bit of motor sailing. Got about eight days worth of fuel, I'd say. So forward to do this for a bit. Um, yeah, just got to start settling into routine. I'm just trying to get away from land a bit further. A lot of fishing pots as well, passing uh, Anguilla. Um, but hopefully they're done now. Uh, yeah, so looks like day one. It's not. It's about six hours. So yeah. big ass whale, come to say hello. Day two, um, went okay so far in my opinion, um, sleep seems to be working out quite well, I thought I'd find it more difficult to sleep but I seem to find it easy enough to sleep, <laughs> oddly enough, um, it was great having the, um, the AIS because that's got a, about a 32 mile range on it which helps so sleeping in the saloon, just wake up, look at the AIS, see nothing's around, day three, Office. Uh, day four, spent the day uh, cleaning the boat, uh, did a bit of anti back in the walls and so on, and uh, cleaned the bilges. You wouldn't think it looking at the state of the boat, but uh, I made an effort. Uh, so that's that box. Well, it's been a lovely day so far, a bit light and craft the wind. Um, but, as we can see, I think it's going to rain. Well, day five. After the squall from hell last night, uh, you remember me saying there about uh, wind? Well, I had plenty of it. I ended up with uh, two reefs in and uh, no head sail at one stage. Maybe I was just being extra cautious, but I had up to 34 knots, 35 knots of breeze which made it fun. Uh, it stayed most of the night, usually about 20 knots, uh, so a bit of a crappy night. Uh, so we're drying out, but lovely day today. Day six, it's been an interesting day. Uh, last night, had the motor all night, absolutely no wind, Harry Flatters, no diesel. Then uh, a little bit this morning, five, six knots, tried a few things, put the kite up, kite in the water, Kite back on the deck, kite dried on the deck, kite packed in the bag, cloud filled over, bang, screecher down, 20 knots of breeze, reef in, number four, still sailing along. Uh, in between all that, I downloaded the weather, said there was going to be no wind, so yeah, it's uh, up and down I like a yo yo. I'm just glad there is wind at the moment. Uh, end of day six. to be no wind. So the weather forecast wrong but fingers crossed it stays. My first sunset since leaving that I can actually see. Day seven. I don't know if I'd mentioned that I was having problems charging my computer so getting grip files is a bit of an issue. I've only got the battery life so I've got about 18% uh, left. But I downloaded the grid yesterday and uh, on the grid it said I was going to have five knots of breeze um, for the next five days. Anyway, I've had this breeze now for uh, 24 hours. It's about 12, 13 knots. Getting squally, picks up to about 18, 19 at times. A bit all over the place, but uh, I'm happy to have it. Course is good. Um, so going in the right direction, making good boat speed. Wasn't expecting me to do this. I, I'm sure I still might have issues with diesel. Let's see how long this lasts, but I'm taking it while it's here. Uh, all is good. Well, a little bit off schedule uh, for my ETA. Well, that's because I've been a bit slow with the lack of wind, uh, but not that bad. We're still looking at 15 days. Still early, but hey oh. What I've learned so far as well with um, single-hand sailing, 
because um, I live by alarms. So I'm alarms for the wind. When it gets over 17 knots, it goes off. When it goes off course by 20 degrees, the alarm goes off. The AIS alarm goes off. So uh, it's quite irritating sometimes, but you just have to get up and sort it out when it happens at the time. Uh, also, I'm trying to be uh, a lot more um, organized in my preparation for things because you can get a bit lackadaisical when sailing all the time. Like, so I have to be very thorough when doing a head sail changing, tying down sails, just putting stuff away and uh, basically just trying to make sure that uh, everything's secure all the time because you're always on a, a, a limited time here, you know. If you leave something too late, you're just not going to have time to do it because when the squall comes or something, it has to be done then and there. So whatever's not done, you know, something's going to happen to it. Probably the only alarm I'm not actually using, which I thought I would be using, is a clock alarm to keep waking me up all the time. But, um, to, you know, my, my intention originally was, you know, oh yeah, we'll stick to some sort of sleep pattern, three on, three off or whatever. It just doesn't work that way. It's just uh, you get sleep when you get sleep. and. You know, then the rest of the time the alarms are just going off. Now you can't go periods of time uh, with no sleep. I mean, I can't stay up for the day eight hours and then think I'm going to get, you know, four hours sleep at the end of the day because that's not going to happen. I mean, once the wind starts getting shifty, alarms can be going off, you know, every two minutes <clears throat> or pretty much every time you go to put your head down, the alarm will go off. You come up, you try and sort things out, settle down a bit. Alarm goes off again and you're down. So uh, yeah, but uh, the clock is the, alarm clock was the one I thought I'd be on all the time, but no, nah, doesn't seem to uh, work that way so far anyway. That's what it feels like. No wind, run out of diesel to say, pain in the butt. But hey, look what's coming. Just see it on the water there. You can see the gauge here. This is average. This has been about two, whew, I missed that. About four, so the wind's been pretty crap. Anyway, it's uh, day eight now, I do believe. Not quite halfway, but, um, Close enough. Just got to get through this last diesel patch here. I have about uh, 60 litres left on whatever's in the tank. I'd say there's only 10 litres in the tank. So. The old uh, bean bag, A5 out, was resting on that last night. Nice starry night. While under engine. My little blue seats over there, they seem to be doing the job because I've been having a lot of problems with the sitting angle there, wrecking my back, but they seem to work quite well. And uh, yeah, that's it. Day eight, plodding along. Not exactly a perfect course, but we're heading in the right direction. Diesel situation still the same. I've cut it right back the revs to about 1400 now because uh, there was no wind there for a while and uh, it seems to be down to a litre an hour. I don't know how, you know, with four or five hundred revs I'm dropping a litre, but it seems to be, so uh, that seems to be the sweet spot. So we should have about 60 hours. Hopefully that'll be enough to do the last 1,100 miles or so. Uh, it is day uh, nine, and uh, about a thousand miles to go. Bit of wind there, which is good. Tooting us along, got the weather forecast. It's going to pick up a little bit tomorrow, 15 knots. Then we're going to get 20 knots on Friday. And then it's going to go uh, a bit northeastly, a bit of a, a beat in. Well, it won't be a beat in. We'll see, we'll get an update. Uh, not much to report today. Feeling a bit weird. Day nine. I don't know, it's not boredom, I don't know what it is. Just, uh, a bit an edge. Don't think I've spent this much time by myself ever. So, and it's only day nine, and it looks like this will be uh, probably a 16-day trip. It's 
not much happening. Day 10. The weather's buggering off. We're under a thousand miles. It's good. Um, getting there. Just hope that it doesn't continue to do this because uh, we'll be back to the old diesel situation if it is. Um, I, I, personally, I just feel I just got to get on with it now. Uh, getting a bit restless and bored during the day. Uh, keep trying to keep the mind focused on different things. Keep going. Um, Don't know what's going to happen with the fuel because this ain't looking good. Is it day 11? You'd never guess I uh, no wind and sail changing all the time. Um, there we are, horizon, 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 horizon. horizon. Day 12, morning, wind most of the night, thank God. Hopefully it stayed the rest of the day. Uh, about 700 and something miles to go, can't remember. Let's keep going. Woo! Mm. Right. Squally weather. Sun, but more importantly there's wind. Day, whatever. Day uh, eight five thirteen. Just under four hundred miles to go. Day Getting fourteen. There. I know we should have been uh, arriving today, but um, no wind and so on it hasn't been that easy. We had a crappy night last night. Lots of wind shifts all over the place. One at ninety degrees that stayed for four hours. So a bit of tacking back and forth. But um, yeah. Day 14, as you can see, there's the sunrise. Another beautiful day in store for me today. Ship over there, squalls and rain over there. So yeah, another day in paradise. Just a couple to go, getting there. I'd say just under 400 miles to go or something, I guess. Could be wrong, but uh, still got the wind. And we're getting there, so all's good. Oh, wind ship. Yay. Less than 200 to go, thank God. I have this the rest of the way anyway. Yeah, the last sunset of the first leg of the trip for the solo bit. There it is over there. So, uh, just got tonight to go. Less than 100 miles to go. Forward to tomorrow. The will be on me. Woo! Yeah, I'm going to get through tonight. Squally, crappy. It's dropped down a lot and the angle's changed a bit, so uh, just plod along like this. I'm doing like eight knots. But um, I'm not going to bother uh, changing sail, just moving it around. Looks like I can pick up again into the late 20s. A uh, few boats in the AIS, but um, yeah, happy enough. Progress today. Say tomorrow. Should be buying beers. Yay! Day 16. 2,200 miles since uh, St. Martin. Day 16. I do believe that will be land. That will be uh, Fiella there. So, yeah, all good. Uh, yeah. Glad to be done. The only problem is this morning it's always something. I think I'm probably higher. Yep, day 16. And Horda Port is just round the corner there. Ooh -ha. So yeah, that's uh was a trip. It's done. We're almost there. Enjoyed it, have confidence in the boat. No damage, it's always good. I look forward to uh, more uh, solo sailing.
in particular the racing because uh, that will add another aspect to it. You know, you better get trim yourselves. There's always one porter call in a uh, horse. There's the Cafe Sport, Peter's Cafe Sport. Going in for a spot of lunch and uh, point to two. John will be here later and uh, yeah, day 17. Oh.